My name is Nakula Gustia and I'm from Meadowthorpe Elementary. My project is the Mozart Effect on Plants. I am a pianist and I like music, so I wanted to make a science project based on music. So the Mozart Effect is a theory which states that people who listen to Mozart music or really any classical music will become a little bit smarter. So if both humans respond positively towards music, I wanted to see how other organisms would respond to music, such as plants. So my hypothesis was that music will influence seed germination and plant growth. So I predicted that the plants exposed to music will germinate faster and grow taller than the plants not exposed to music. The following materials are used for fast plant seeds from Carolina Biological. Plastic pots, soil, lamps for light and heat, glass tanks to place pots, Amazon Echo Smart Speaker for music, and a ruler for measurement. So what I first did was I filled 32 plastic pots with soil. I then planted one seed in each pot. And this is a picture of me making labels for each pot. I divided the pots into two groups of 16. Group 1, not exposed to music. And group 2, exposed to six hours of classical music through the Amazon Echo smart speaker. Each group of pots was placed in a glass tank with a tube light for light, a bulb for heat, water under the pots. The glass tanks provided uniform conditions for both groups of plants. Each tank was placed in a different room to keep the music isolated. Some limitations were that it was not possible to make sure that the conditions were identical for both groups. Regarding temperature, humidity, and light in each tank might have helped confirm the conditions. I rec to record the date of seed germination each day, I had to check the pots once each day and record the seed germination date. To record the height above the soil, I had to measure each plant in centimeters with a ruler 17 days after planting the seeds. My independent variable was the presence or absence of music. My dependent variable was the number of days to germination and the height of each plant. The variables I kept the same in each group were temperature and humidity, type of light, amount of water, and each plant was the same species. My expected results were that if the average number of days to germinate for the music group was greater than the control group, then that means music slows down germination rate. And if the average number of days to germinate for the music group was less than the control group, then that means music speeds up germination rate. And if the average number of days to germinate for the music group is less than for the control group, then that means part of my hypothesis will be supported. If the average height of plants for the music group was greater than for the control group, then that means music helps plant growth. And if the average height of plants for the music group was less than for the control group, then that means music harms plant growth. And if the average height of plants for the music group is greater than for the control group, then that means the other part of my hypothesis will be supported. Here are some of my journal pages. So this is for the control group. So I labeled the, the number for each plant in this column. In this column, I did the date of seed germination. And in this column, I did the height on day 17. I, similarly, I did the same thing for table two, which was for the group which was exposed to music. Here are my calculations for the average time to germination for the control group and for the music group. This graph represents my data. Here is the average height on day 17 after planting the seeds for the control group and for the music group. Here also, the graph represents my data. So the average number of days to germinate for the seeds exposed to music was less than for the control group. 
the average height after 17 days for the plants exposed to music was greater than for the control group. So this is a comparison of a sample plant from the music treatment group and a sample plant from the control group 17 days after planting the seeds. And as you can see, the plant which was not exposed to music was shorter than the plants and shorter than the plant exposed to music. From the results of my experiment, I learned that music helps plant growth and germination time. My results support my hypothesis because the plants exposed to music had a quicker germination time and had a greater height than the plants not exposed to music. So what does science say? Do plants actually like music? Not really. They are responding to the rhythmic vibrations which are in music. The one explanation says that the vibrations make the nutrients in the cells move faster through the plant and that stimulates releasing of growth hormones. Another explanation, which is an evolutionary explanation, says that during evolutionary history, plants were exposed to many herbivores like insects and herds of animals. The munching and the hoof sounds um, caused rhythmic vibrations. And when they sense these rhythmic vibrations, they know, oh, something's coming to eat me. And so they respond by, by releasing bitter tasting chemicals or making defense structures. And by defense structures, I mean making the skin rough or pokey. And to do this, the plants needed to grow quickly. And so over time, it became a natural response to grow faster when they felt vibrations. So no problems were that I could not record the germination rate more frequently because I was mostly at school and I only returned in the evening like at 6 o'clock. For I forgot to record the germination date for plant number 23 of the music group. The importance of my experiment is that it shows that how music helps plant growth. That can improve houseplants, vegetable gardens and agriculture. Some new questions I have are, can music help plants have tastier fruits and vegetables than plants not exposed to music? And does a noisy environment help or hurt plant growth, germination time, and the taste of fruits and vegetables? Here are my references. I would like to thank my parents for providing all the materials and guiding me throughout the project. I would also like to thank my STEM teacher, Ms. Drury, for giving me all the information she has about the science fair.